drawings from um, 1984 when these were completed so I'd started in an earlier time and the, the book that these come out of was finished by 1984 I was trying to keep pace with George Orwell this situation represents South Africa the white people made a covenant with God after they after this battle of Blood River where they defeated the Zulus and their prayer was if they won the battle they were going to take that as a sign that the whole of South Africa was God's purpose for them and they were the chosen people and they were going to inherit the earth and they had arrived so when they were in power they made this grand monument outside Pretoria which was called the Fuertrecker which is in America the um, the Wagoners Monument what were they called? the, the Pioneers mm -hmm. and there it is on a certain day when the sun shines through a little hole in the roof it, the, the ray of light goes onto the tomb of the unknown freedom fighter they did not see themselves as terrorists they saw themselves as the Israelites battling the people who were there in order to inherit the land and um, as you can see by the lines underneath it I've drawn this breast and the monument is the nipple on the breast and there's the ocean line behind it and there in the corner you see the thorns and that says history on that side here we see the white woman and the conditions for a white woman back in the day were really strict for example she was expected to have a permed hairstyle every Friday she went to the hairdresser and her hair had to always be immaculate because she was a white woman she had to be above the Africans and she wore a bra to control the breasts and this girdle which I call the girdle of thorns where the womb of the woman was claimed for God and for the future of the land and it says there we are for you ons for yo and the girdle is to pull in the backside because Africans have got larger buttocks than us and so we had to get our buttocks very in no bulging out at the back and behind her you see the cling peaches but what I was saying about these women they weren't allowed to even open a bank account without their husband's signature so the husband was the one who gave a woman permission to have a bank account so we're completely controlled she wasn't free to have any say and there you can see her diamond ring and on this side that side it says history geschiedenis and this side it says politics and there's the obelisk territorial imperative and the flag which was the Union of South Africa and there's thorns on that side as well and it says here girdle of thorns and the eyes of God O Lord come into thy temple and judge thy people and they have lost the power since these days of glory here we see the ignorance of the child expressed as this word incubation duty and sweet dreams in white sheets and on his blankets for the boys are bullets and where the mother's sitting is bows pink for the girls blue for the boys and I gave the little boy striped pajamas of a convict behind the white woman on this side you see this terrible prison in South Africa which was called John Foster Square so anybody who was suspected of crimes was taken to this place where they were just simply tortured and beaten and whatever nasty things were done and very often they just threw bodies out of the windows and said the people committed suicide so on this side you see the earth and on this side you see the activities of the state to guarantee the ownership of that land and there's the flag with the highway going down the middle the radio tower and TV tower the TV aerial and then this side is the moon which is over the earth and this side is the sun which is over the Republic and there it's a brick wall and barbed wire fencing yeah girls and boys this one is the duty of the mother she says I am obedient and we as children were completely harnessed and this sword was hovering over us at all times 
and the flame of conscience and uh, the authority of God forced us to have to be racist because that was the will of God. So there you see the mother with a rope attached to the child and on the other end is a noose. And um, in her hand she's got this ruler with a tiny feather because that's how vulnerable she really was. And at her feet you see the powder compact and the lipstick and the drawing pins and hair pins and all the things from daily life. I've drawn a blade of grass here coming out of her ankle because in the Bible it says that flesh is grass. It's, it's not permanent, it's a weak thing. It, it, it isn't, it isn't uh, metal or rock. And there's the little diamond and beside that you see the worm, which means we're all, all um, mortal. And where the boy is, you see the thorns and the grapes and the crown and the sword and all the future that he's got to be walked into. There's even a watch and there's a Coca-Cola bottle. <laughs> Here is the picture I called the mother of true peace. We had African servants bring us up because our parents were so busy in society and the, the punishments and the threats and the dire, you know, all the beatings we got, she used to comfort me and uh, it established a form of loyalty between me and her that I have never ever given up on although for her it was completely degrading to be a servant in the house bringing up the children of the people who oppressed you so severely and on her back you see her child which she obviously had to neglect and um, she gave what was good in her to me and she could not hand it over to her child this image of the locust is the all devourer which is what the state is. It devours everything and leaves nothing behind. This is the fate of the child, especially the boy children. Their childhood is destroyed in the propaganda and the politics that is put into it. It reminds me of Palestinian kids. And uh, there's skyscrapers in the brick rubble of the uh, destruction. Here's the child imprisoned in silence, growing up to be a loyal and vicious dog called prisoner of war. Here is an image, I call it cosmic egg. If there is not one birth, there will be no half birth, because flesh is one flesh. They are brothers undercover and in sight. So here's the quill, and here's the TV aerial, and here they are. The man, the white guy, is still his body is still in the vagina, in the womb, and he's coming out and he's already trying to bite the African. It reminds me of America with the hatred of President Obama. Okay. It's vicious. And the last one. The French Revolution was the representative of the uh, Nationalist Revolution. They had to chop off the king's head to believe in their new age, in their new republic. So the head on the spike becomes the flag of the new state. I obey or face punishment, says the dutiful man. The mortal man is now, oops, the mortal man is now obedient to the flag, which is the constitution, law and order. And that's called the Liberty Pole. Here you can see the tongue on the spike with the muscle and the bone and all the maggots and the skull with an elephant tusk in it. And on this side it says self-worship, man and his own flagpole. And this is my best image of all, the, the industrial cathedral. Instead of the twin towers at the front of the cathedral, it's two chimneys belching smoke and the dome, which was the place where the altar was placed, is a nuclear reactor. And there's the arena. So there's the child covered in spikes and it grows up into this obedient man. <laughs>